President Donald Trump's proposal to build a bigger U.S. military was just the starting point for the U.S. House, which voted to authorize more ships, planes and personnel than he requested. There is no substitute for military power, Armed Services Committee Chairman Max Thornberry said as the House debated the $696 billion defense policy bill for the fiscal year that begins October. 1. If we don't fund these things now they won't be there when we need them. The House passed the bill Friday on a vote of 344-81. The Senate hasn't yet taken up the comparable bill crafted by its Armed Services Committee. Republican leaders in the Senate have said the bill is a priority for coming weeks, after the conflict over health insurance legislation is resolved. The defense legislation would determine what weaponry the Pentagon is allowed to procure and set military policy. Actual spending levels are set in a separate appropriations bill. Providing all of the money authorized under the House passed bill, H. R. 2810, would mean busting spending limits by more than $70 billion. Congress hasn't yet figured out what to do about those caps for the coming fiscal year, in the Pentagon policy bill written in the Senate, S. 1519, would let slightly more be spent. So the debate is shaping up to be more about how high to go rather than whether to spend more on the military. The bill's top line of $695. $9 billion for national security programs includes $592. $8 billion for regular Defense Department programs, more than $70 billion above the maximum set in law, $75 billion in overseas contingency operations funds, which are subject to budget caps, with $10 billion of that dedicated to the regular Pentagon budget, $20. 8 billion for nuclear security programs at the Department of Energy, and $7. 5 billion inches mandatory spending. If like this video please leave a like and subscribe.